seem to click on videos that have a dollar amount in it. Y'all very rarely watch my vlogs the way you watch some of my skincare videos. But as soon as I put that 15K, here come the views. So using that same energy, I wanted to see if I could find the cheapest skincare routine possible, combining both day and night. But that skincare routine needed to actually be relevant to my skincare needs. You know, because I could have went to the Dollar Tree, but you know, that's gonna elicit things that aren't really relevant to my skincare routine, my skincare needs, and I ain't wanna waste my time. So let's go shopping online, see what we find, and through the magic of editing, I'm gonna come back in this video and test out what I found. So keep watching. All right, we are on walmart.com. So I need a cleanser, a treatment product, an eye cream, a sunscreen, a nighttime moisturizer, an exfoliant, and something to remove my makeup. So let's get started. Walmart is a little bougie right now, so they're selling also stuff that you can find like mint here and higher end stuff as well. So we are going to sort from price low to high. <laughs> Okay, so we got a sea breeze cleanser, a clean and clear, a lot of acne cleansers. Um, I do get acne from time to time, but I don't think that I need a dedicated acne cleanser for this experiment. Like these are too expensive. I'm looking for like under $5. Let's see, let's do in store. Okay, in store definitely opens us up to more options. $297, $274, this is, this is sounding like the prices I wanna see. $3.26. We have the Equate Beauty Age Resistant Classic Cleanser, 6.78 ounces. All right, let's into cart. Poop. Now we need a treatment product, exfoliator, um, scrubs. And I don't, I don't want no scrubs. Now scrubs get a bad rap. You know, sometimes, you know, that bad rap is rightfully so. Because sometimes these scrub granules can be a little bit too harsh and rough for the skin and it can cause micro tears and things like that. But not all scrubs are created equally. You have some that work really nicely on the skin. You have people who love a scrub, so I'm not going down the scrub just because I don't use it. Some sunscreen. See, they've got L to MD at Tar, um, they're not Target, <laughs> this is Walmart. Look, they've got Super Goo. Okay, but this is too rich for my blood for this uh, experiment here. Oh, they've got a nighttime firming moisturizer, $4.67. Wait, Equate might have some bangers here. So anyway, I'm gonna continue shopping. This stuff has gotta ship to me, get to the house. I gotta open it up. I gotta find time to film and whatnot. But thankfully, with the power of editing, you're gonna see me trying out these products in five, four, three, two, one. Fifty-one dollars and ninety-five cents. So the morning routine and the nighttime routine combined all together, everything was fifty-one dollars and ninety-five cents. So first up, the Equate Beauty Age Resistant Classic Cleanser with gentle exfoliators. It has a thing on it to compare to Olay Age Defining Classic Cleanser. I've never tried either. Three dollars and twenty-six cents. The ingredients is nothing, you know, remarkable about the ingredients but it's a cleanser, you know, it's only, but you know, whatever. We've got salicylic acid, so a gentle exfoliator. There's also glycerin in here, which is a humectant. Um, as we get older, the skin's regeneration process, the process by where it makes new skin cells, starts to slow down a little bit. So having a little bit of an exfoliator in this cleanser, you know, might be nice in my routine. We'll find out though. The packaging, you know, doesn't seem flimsy or anything like that. Just your regular standard packaging. It's got that like, creamy action going on there. Now, obviously I'm not in my bathroom. Bringing the camera and the lighting and all that other stuff in the bathroom is really annoying. So we're just gonna do this here <laughs> with, with water. Mmm, <laughs> it almost smells like baby lotion. It's like really tiny little exfoliants in there. The fragrance in your cleanser, because you're gonna wash it off is usually not the, the end of the world if you're someone who you know typically likes to avoid fragrance. Um, I don't set out to avoid fragrance. I just don't like things that don't smell nice to my nose. <laughs> but this smells nice to my nose. This does feel like a, a nice experience here. So my thing is like, even when a product is not very expensive, I still wanna feel like, I, like I'm enjoying the experience. And I do feel like I'm enjoying the experience with this cleanser. So I'm gonna go rinse this off and we're gonna move on to the next step. And I have to say the rinse off was really nice. I feel like my skin feels clean 
but it feels supple. So it doesn't feel like stripped or anything like that. <laughs> okay, so next up from Black Opal, the PHA plus BHA exfoliating toner. This was $6.50. Now, I didn't read before. <laughs> I didn't read. Um, so I didn't realize when I was making the order that the cleanser had some exfoliants in it. So if you're someone with sensitive skin or you just kind of like try to take it easy, I wouldn't necessarily follow up that cleanser with an exfoliant like this because it might be a little bit too much for you. I think I'll be okay. And this is not an everyday thing that I would do. I also only exfoliate with exfoliating toners two to three times a week. The packaging is not, not bad. Got a little sturdy packaging, a nice twist top that feels very secure. I don't feel like, you know, the product is gonna be leaking all over the place, so kudos for that. So PHAs are usually the exfoliants of choice for people with very sensitive skin because the PHAs are a little larger, so they're not as harsh on the skin. Um, BHA, as we know, is salicylic acid. That's what was, you know, also in that cleanser. Oh, it's got a essence kind of like texture to it. Give her a swipe. The smell is kind of like, it almost smells like glycerin. You know how glycerin has a smell, but it doesn't really have a smell, like if you've ever smelled like pure glycerin on its own. All right, not bad. A couple of call outs from the product listing, aloe vera lends to calming and soothing properties. I can definitely feel like the calming and soothing from the aloe vera in this. So again, I mean, this is the first impressions kind of thing, but I'm not mad at it. This might be something that maybe in the winter time I might want to use when you know my skin is a little bit drier and a little bit more weather worn. So I needed a treatment product and I picked up the L'Oreal Revital Lift Seeker Cream. This was $8.48. Anti-wrinkle in skin barrier repair. It says it fights wrinkles, resists the sign of aging, firm skin, hydrates. Also mentions that it's fragrance free and has a non-greasy finish. We love a non-greasy finish sometimes. So here's the packaging. This is looking like it might be more of like a moisturizer, but we'll see because if it's more of like a moisturizer, then I would want to put my eye cream on first. It feels like a lightweight moisturizer. Okay, so on the listing, it does say that it's a moisturizer. I was just kind of looking at this as like an anti-wrinkle serum. Like it's saying, really good. But we'll, we'll still work it, but I'm gonna put my eye cream on first and then put that on. So for the eye cream, I picked up another product from Equate Beauty, the Reviving Anti-Wrinkle and Firming Eye Cream. This was $7.87. And it says to compare to L'Oreal Revitalift Anti wrinkle and affirming eye cream. Typical eye cream packaging, very sturdy, so this is not something that's gonna like break or pop open. Okay, lightweight. All right, not bad, not bad. Now obviously, you know, this is my first time trying it. Now for me at this stage in life, I don't really need any eye cream with anything like extravagant in it. I'm essentially just looking for the eye cream to be able to, you know, hydrate and moisturize my under eye area. Which I need more so underneath my eyes than I do on the rest of my face. My skin is oily, but underneath here can tend to be a little bit dry and that dryness can lend to, you know, wrinkles and fine lines and whatnot, but this wasn't bad. And then now we're gonna go in with the Revital Lift. Okay, I don't mind that texture. If I would use something like this, I would probably only want to use it at night. While it doesn't look greasy, it has like a little tacky feel to it that I'm like, I don't think I would want to wear this during the day, unless it was like really, 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 really cold out. But not bad, not bad. I'm gonna let this settle in. And then we're gonna move on to sunscreen. For sunscreen, I picked up the Eucerin Daily Protection Face Lotion and a Sunscreen Bird Spectrum SPF 30. This is fragrance free. I picked this up because it was $4.45. I was really trying to see how low we could go. And also they have an indicator on the packaging that lets you know how light or rich it is. Now it's on the second dial after light. So I'm expecting this to be more of like a medium kind of thing, which might be nice for this time of year. It's fall, it's starting to turn into like maybe the cooler temps in the fall, but things have been, it's been hot one day and it's cool and then it's hot and it's cool and it's just like, make up your mind. Okay, we love a pump application. Oh. Except when it was pumps the sunscreen on your rug. All right, so there is the texture there. Now, one thing about this that I didn't realize until after I had ordered it is that this is a combo sunscreen. So it does contain zinc oxide and titanium dioxide mixed with some chemical slash organic UV filters. So I'd be interested to see <laughs> what, what this gonna do <laughs> to my skin in terms of cast. Uh, texture is really, really nice. It almost reminds me of some of the like lotion-y kind of like Korean sunscreens. 
Now, because it is a mineral, I'm going to apply in thin layers. Because, <laughs> you know, that zinc be zincing. You put a whole glop on, you will get your feelings hurt. Now, that's nice so far, because some sunscreens, you put that first light layer on, and it's still like ash city. All right, I'm going to go in again with a... Another light layer. I am not mad at this. If I would have realized that the L'Oreal Revitalift was a moisture, was more of a moisturizer than it was a serum, I probably would have skipped that and just used this Eucerin as my moisturizer and sunscreen because it does feel like it would have been moisturizing enough on its own. But I am not mad at that at all. Okay, but uh, maybe I spoke a little bit too soon with this <laughs> sunscreen because while it didn't have a cast as I was applying it, about 20 minutes later, I went to go look in the mirror and I was like, oh. <laughs> now, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a cast there. <laughs> it's very slight. I'm going to put makeup on because I do need to film other things. But if you were going to try and wear this without makeup, just be aware. <laughs> 24 hours later. All right, you guys, it's a new dawn. It's a new day. It's a new hairdo, which is actually wet with like conditioner and stuff because it's filming another video. You know, you got to multitask. Anyway, let us try this nighttime routine. All right, so first I'm going to be taking off this makeup with Albaline. I've seen Albaline before. What brought it to my attention recently was in our overhyped skincare part two video. In the section of the underhyped products, someone mentioned Albaline and I was like, oh, I need to try that. So this is a moisturizing cleanser, fragrance free. The makeup comes off, the moisture stays in. You don't have to use any soap or rinse it off you can just wipe it away i got on you know a decent amount of makeup here let's give her a whirl okay what oh i'm gonna need a little bit more than that the texture it's kind of like a cleansing balm texture into this like oil type of texture oh wow okay so you don't really need to spend a lot of money on a cleansing balm, cleansing oil, makeup remover type step, unless you really, really want to. So the camera got cut off before I had a chance to say that I'm going to go remove it. Now, when I went to go rinse it off, because you know I had a lot of makeup on, um, probably not a great idea. This is something that you do want to tissue off, and then maybe I'm gonna try another cleanse and see how that feels, but it, it was not um, rinsing off very well. Which makes sense, given the ingredients. It may not be the best experience to rinse this off. I just took a paper towel and tissued off what was left, and that was that was pretty fine. Um, my skin doesn't feel, it feels balmy, but also it's been a very hot day today, and the rest of me feels a little balmy, so I don't know that that was the product that's doing it. Let me cleanse just in case. I'm gonna go in and cleanse with this, <laughs> and then we'll move on to the other products in the nighttime routine. All right, I feel a bit better, less balmy, <laughs> now that I've done that second cleanse. So let's move on to eye cream. You've seen the eye cream already during the daytime routine. It's the same one. Then the night cream. I've actually never seen this Olay product before, but this is the Olay Night of Olay Firming Night Cream. This is just $5.90. Packaging is cute, okay? Pretty sturdy packaging. I like that. I like for an inexpensive product, and I don't think any of the products that we've tried here today were like flimsy packaging. If I'm, just because I want to buy something cheap doesn't mean that the experience needs to also be cheap. You know what I mean? It smells like a baby. <laughs> you know, like that nice like baby lotion smell? Okay, let's get this on the skin and see how she feels. Okay, nice and creamy. Oh, I like that smell. Okay. I do use an Olay moisturizer as my night cream, I would say the majority of the time, maybe like 90% of the time, unless I'm trying something new. And I use the Regenerous Micro Sculpting Cream and the Fragrance Free, which I love. The Micro Sculpting Cream has niacinamide, it has hyaluronic acid, it has amino peptide in it. So it's got, it's got some things in here, but Listen, if you don't really have any big needs or maybe your nighttime routine has other actives in it and the other steps, maybe. For the lips, can't forget the lips. Now let's give an overall rundown of what we did here in this experiment. I ain't mad. <laughs> I was able to get a, a decent, not even decent, I would say this is a, a good, robust, daytime and nighttime skincare routine that definitely addressed my current skincare needs for the current environment. Right now it's fall in New York City. The experience was nice as well. I still wanna be wind and dine 
on a dime. Let me know if you want to see more like kind of like challenges like this in the comments. Follow me on social. I'm on TikTok. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. Check your girl out because when I'm not here on YouTube, I'm there and I will see you fine folks in my next video. Bye guys.